Everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright here with your unemployment update for Sunday, September 20, 2020. Yes, 9 20, 2020. Find out which state secretary resigns after thousands of unemployment claims are backlogged. I'm crazy backlogged. Which state is halting unemployment claims for two weeks? And which new states were just approved for the three additional weeks of unemployment boost? after this. For the best news and information on how to master and dominate and crush your money, keep it, save it, use it better, business life, stay tuned to the channel. Also, we're almost at 90,000 subscribers. I'm giving $900 away for a random comment, like, and subscribe. So subscribe like and comment and you'll be entered to win $900. Also, at the end of this, I'll tell you about a $5,000 giveaway I have. Also, grab your Weeble stock down below, open up an account, you get a stock for free up to $1,400. But first, Wisconsin Secretary resigns, resigns after failing to address the massive backlog of un, unprocessed unemployment benefits that left so many without receiving their pay. We've heard it in the comments. We've heard it over and over again, how bad Wisconsin was. And um, it got so bad that Caleb Fosterman resigned after the governor of Wisconsin, Tony Evers, called for his resignation. Said, yeah, you got to go. You didn't process this. Obviously, it heated up so much that he resigned. Governor Evers had been facing criticism for months after thousands of claimants were left unprocessed since the pandemic started in March. Can you imagine since March? And if you're in Wisconsin, I'm so sorry that you had to go through this. It's just terrible, absolutely terrible. Other states are also facing similar issues where Washington had to even call in the National Guard to process applications. The National Guard <laughs> to process applications. Since his resignation on Friday, 100,000 Wisconsin residents were in process on Saturday. So as of Saturday, 100,000 Wisconsin residents will be processed or being processed. So there's movement. Obviously, it got so hot, and of course, the governor's in charge of making sure this stuff happens. So he's got to find somebody who can make it happen. Up next, California is halting all new unemployment claims for two weeks while the state adopts a new fraud prevention technology. A lot of states have implemented technologies that check as many as 18 different data points to try and establish fraud because we've been paying dead people, we've been paying people in other countries, we've been, I mean, I mean, it's been horrible, the fraud that's gone on since this pandemic with PPP, unemployment, just terrible. Even the stimulus checks went to dead people that were cashed. Apparently, Newsom appointed a so-called strike team that recommended that they pause the new claims, that they get it in, in process, and make sure that these data points are checked so they verify who people are. The team was created back in July to help create long-term solutions to get to the bottom of it and be able to make sure that going forward they could take care of, I mean, that's a, what, 40 million people? Sharon Hillard, Director of uh, Employment Development, uh, said new claims should not see a delay in benefit payments and in fact many maybe may willingly get their payments faster as they avoid the old time intensive id verification process lots of states have had a horrible time trying to validate claims trying to figure out if you really are who you are because or people that have given information that it, they can't find the information or it's misinformation right? So they get confused. The department has been struggling with outdated technology while they combat all the claims coming through. Remember, they weren't prepared for this. And quote, it has 1.6 million pending claims that require eligibility verification. 
and it does not expect to work through them until late January. That's months from now. The new system will resolve this and a bunch of other problems people are having with filing and getting verification. Can you imagine trying to put all these systems together while they're getting bogged down and overloaded and these systems, some of them are 20 years old? Hopefully this problem that's been occurring for years and can be fixed in two weeks? I hope so, especially since, well, they've been working on it since July and you got Silicon Valley in California, come on. And finally, the great state of Michigan is going to receive an extra additional $900 after they're approved for the three weeks of the weekly $300 benefits. Congratulations if you're in that state. You finally got it. You're finally going to be able to collect that extra money. That's a total of six weeks. And is the final round of the federal assistance expected? Yes, that's it. The FEMA lost wages assistance is over. They sent out before we covered it. Six weeks was pretty much all that they were going to be able to do. And, and many states are saying three was it. That brings it to a grand total, though, of $1,800. The state expects to process the second wave of payments next week. So this coming week, we should see something. And we'll take about 10 days to complete the payments. So you should see something coming pretty soon. And if you're in Alaska or Delaware or D.C., Hawaii, Indiana, Kansas, Nebraska, Nevada, New Jersey, Oklahoma, Oregon, South Carolina, Vermont, Washington, Virginia, and Wisconsin, hang in there. You're... 1800 or $2,400, some states got an extra $100, is coming soon. And to everyone else in America, you should be receiving your LWA unemployment benefits or you're already receiving that six weeks on the funds from the Fed, from FEMA, from the $44 billion, that small sliver of money. And of course, you know Trump's looking everywhere to find another place to rob another penny bank so that he can get more payments out there. Don't miss out on your state's benefit plus the extra $1,800 or $2,400 unemployment checks from the feds. You know, all you have to do is provide your history and uh, explain a little bit about your job history and why you're not working, the thing out there. In fact, most states are not requiring any job search. And to all the gig workers that did not pay into unemployment, because there's the UI and there's the PUA, PUA, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, both those programs go all the way to the end of the year. A lot of them, only 45% of your actual pay is in those programs for a lot of people, especially that's uh, from California. So you lose a lot of it. What helps with that assistant boost is it puts people more on target to where they're earning money and some with that $600, they were getting 200%, which I think is awesome, especially with, you know, so many people that, what what's it hurt to give people a little extra? To all the gig workers, the new self-employed independent contractors, 1099 workers, some, if you got a side hustle, part-time gig, that PUA is for you and you can actually collect your unemployment funds. This new system, it was designed for you as part of the CARES Act, so be sure to take advantage of the amazing government program. Before it runs out of money, many states are struggling, many states are broke. That's why the Democrats have been pushing for a trillion dollars to go to the states. Check with your state unemployment and the PUA guidelines, the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Guidelines, and your regular unemployment insurance. If you were employed and paying in, then you go on that side. If you were PUA, you go on that side. Just tell the truth. Don't say you had a job and you're applying for you know PUA when you had a side hustle. Otherwise, you, the money could take a long time, especially with all these states having troubles, delays, problems, stops, verifications. You know, And if you say that you were you paid into unemployment through a job and you didn't, They'll be looking for that money because that was paid in so it could be paid to you. So if you didn't pay into it, they're going to be lost. And that confusion will probably tie you up for some time. So thank you so much for watching. Please keep sharing your experience with the PUA and the UI, the unemployment insurance benefits and the extension that you. I would love the comments that come from the different states. When you tell us your experience, it's caring for the community. So please put your experience, how many weeks you got, what's happening in your state because it helps the whole community as a whole. I love you. I'm Andrew Cartwright. I hope you guys are doing great. Remember, 
putting a comment enters you to win that $900 when we hit 90,000 subscribers. And if we hit uh, 100,000 by my birthday, which is September 27th, um, I'm gonna be giving away $5,000 if we hit that. So that would be an amazing uh, birthday gift to be able to hit the 100. And uh, if we do, then that goes out. But definitely the when we hit 90, um, $900 will go to somebody in the random comments from these videos. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you.